drinking at a young age can be like jumping into the ocean without a life vest. You think you can tread and keep your head above water, but the longer you try to do it, the harder it gets. Our friends say that drinking alcohol is no big deal. Everybody is doing it, and we should too. There's this feeling of, well, everybody's drinking. Um, so in order to fit in or to keep my friends, I have to also. Uh, but the real statistic is that only one in four um, high schoolers report that, that they drink. My tragic experience with teen drinking was um, with a friend of mine who was 17 and he was intoxicated, driving a car full of his friends. And when his friends realized he was much too drunk to be driving, they asked him to either let one of them drive or to stop the car so that they could get out, which he let them all out. And when he went to turn around and come back, he was traveling at a very high rate of speed and missed a curve on the road, which caused him to run off the left side of the road and hit a concrete culvert, which sent him into a house. When the funeral came around, his mother decided that there should be an open casket. She felt that the open casket was the best way to show teenagers what happens when you drink and drive. The hardest thing in the world to do is to go to a parent's house and, and tell them, hey, your son, your daughter was just involved in an accident. If my child were drinking at a party, um, the first thing I'd want them to know is that regardless of what happens, um, I want them to call me if they should ever need a ride, their friends need a ride. Um, it's not the time and place to judge my child at that point if they are drinking, even though they're not supposed to be. Um, but first and foremost is their safety. I drink because it makes me feel better. When I feel down, I turn to alcohol. So one problem I see um, with teenagers who start drinking uh, from a mental health perspective is they might be struggling with depression or anxiety um, or some major issue that they need um, help with. And if they start drinking, what they can do is start to feel better using an artificial means instead of getting help that they need with a counselor or a psychiatrist. And then they'll start masking those feelings instead of dealing with them. If you start drinking at an early age, that can lead to chronic alcoholism which can cause cirrhosis of the liver. Um, kids that binge drink are at high risk for alcohol toxicity. I thought I was mature for my age. I've got great grades and a part-time job. A casual drink shouldn't hurt, right? From a developmental standpoint, at 16, 17, we are not fully matured in the front prefrontal cortex of the brain, which is the part of the brain that makes all of our decisions, a lot of our judgment, um, is impaired anyways when we drink. And when you're a teenager, you aren't fully developed in these areas of the brain. Another big consequence could be the academic factors uh, in underage drinking. So students that report drinking on a very regular basis, on average, have uh, lower academic scores. An example of someone who was most likely struggling, struggling with depression was a teenager. This boy was very smart and, and could easily have gone to college and graduated with an engineering degree. But because he started drinking, that escalated into even doing harder drugs and getting caught and having a felony. This man no longer uses drugs and alcohol. 20 years later, he's trying to get the governor of his state to expunge that off of his record, and every year it's denied. This man we won't let drinking drag us down. I'm mature enough to know that I can wait until I'm 21. I can find other ways to have fun until then. Instead of drinking, I go to counseling to help me deal with my emotions. We found new friends that don't pressure us to drink. And now we can breathe.